My name is Stanislaw, and in this tutorial, you'll learn all about how to use M Intro 2 from Motion VFX. You can find M Intro 2 templates inside the Title Templates tab of Final Cut Pro, then click on M Intro 2. Included are a bunch of different templates. There's 10 different add ons to choose from, 10 different backgrounds to use in your different projects. 30 customizable intros, and 5 typography templates. Hover your cursor over any of the templates to preview them before deciding on which one you'd like to use. So let's take a look at how to use some of these. I'm going to preview this one, and since it's the one I want to use, I'm going to just drag and drop it directly into my timeline. That's a great looking animation, and our logo in the center can be replaced. We'll get to that in a minute. To retime any of our templates, just drag the edge of the template and change its duration to whatever time you want. Let's make some further changes. Up in the top, we can see the on-screen control, and this lets us change the position, the scale, and the rotation of the objects inside our template. Text layers can just be dragged and repositioned freely, or if you have Final Cut's guides turned on, that's a great way to line things up. To make further changes, like changing out this logo, let's go inside the inspector. Inside the inspector, we can choose between our modes of either logo or text. That means you can use any of these templates as a title template or a logo template by just swapping out this text. Let's play that back. I can see I need to readjust my text, so I'll just click and drag this once more. Let's change out this text to a logo. I'll choose logo, and now I'll click on the drop zone well, and navigate to my library and choose an image or a video file that I'd like to fill this drop zone with. Next, I'll click apply clip. With just a few clicks, we've put our logo right into this great looking intro. Now, if I wanna modify this some more, I'm gonna go back into the inspector Inside the inspector, I'll work with my drop zone size and scale controls to line it up just right. Depending on the template you're using, there may be different controls inside the inspector. To change any colors, be sure to click on a color well. This lets you change the color of any specific parameter that that's attached to. And for those of you who like details, all of our different text layers are completely adjustable with our size, our font, alignment, and more. This can work great as an opener or an intro, but we can also add a typography element and then add it as an outro to get people to subscribe using this call to action. I'll just shorten this and using the on-screen controls, I'll place it right down here and scale it down. Now we've created an outro that also has a subscribe button in there as well. We can change that to whatever we'd like and even turn that box off and just have our text. Something you're probably noticing here is that all our templates are animating in and out. And by using this toggle and turning off the animation out, that'll mean that it will no longer animate out, only in. So it's gonna animate in here, and then it will stop and play into the entire duration of the clip. Let's take a look at building a new intro. I like the way that this one is animating in, so I'm gonna drag and drop it into my browser. I'll change the duration to something a little shorter, maybe right around seven seconds here. With my intro title selected, I'm gonna replace this logo with a different logo. So I'll click in my drop zone well, and pick everybody's favorite cola, Conky Cola, and go ahead and place that in there. Inside my drop zone, I can see my logo has reached the edge of that frame. So I'm gonna use the logo scale controls, which will reposition it in the drop zone, and then the logo size as my way to set the scale. Next, let's add a background included inside M Intro 2. So I'll click back onto the titles and generators, 
and then our backgrounds will be found near the top of the selection. Just like before, I'll drag and drop it and adjust my duration. I've placed a new background, but to see it, I'll need to turn off the background on our intro layer. By clicking this box, that'll turn off the background of the M intro, and now I can see the background that I've placed onto there. While here, I'll just make some changes to the color of this swirl. All the different backgrounds, typography, and the add-ons all have customizable controls as well. Let's go ahead and give this logo a slogan as well. I'll move down to the typography elements and drag a new typography template directly into our project. There's no limit to how many of these templates you can use, so it's really fast and easy to drag several of these and stack them to create complex animations without having to do any of the animation keyframing. I'll make some changes to my text and I'll use the color picker to choose the exact color from my logo and get that in position. Add my snappy slogan and now we have a fully animated logo. Because each template acts like a clip in our timeline, that means we can put different effects on top of our templates. So in this case, I'm gonna add a focus blur to the background image to just soften out how that logo appears on our background. Let's check it out. Let's look at one more example to review. This time we'll create a intro for a YouTube channel that focuses on code. So I have my background here and next I'm going to go ahead and pick one of the intros. And I really like the way this one animates in. So I'm going to drag this into my timeline above that background. We won't be able to see that background until we disable this background. So this is when we'll open up our inspector. I'll click on my inspector to open the panel and navigate to the bottom of our template to turn off that background image. Now we can see the background that we placed in before and I'll continue to make changes to my intro. Here I'm changing the color to match the background a little bit more. I'll be using a drop zone for this one, so I'll leave it as drop zone and select my drop zone image. In this case, I've got my logo right down here and I'll choose apply clip. I'll set my scale and size for my drop zone contents. Let's make this a little bit more interesting by using some of the add-ons. The add-ons are great little extra animations that we can use with any of our different templates. So I'm going to drag this one on here and we can see this little circuitry coming out from here. Because this is on top, it's appearing above my logo. If I take this and I drag this beneath my logo layer, it'll actually make it look like it's behind. These can also be used as different chapter headings or the backgrounds can be used for different infographics. I think I'll use this typography layer to remind people to stay tuned for more content. I'll adjust the timing, and then I'll use the on-screen controls to place it in position or use the inspector to fine-tune my controls. Let's add one more. I think I'll place this one right over here. I'll close my inspector and adjust the timing and the content of this last text layer. Let's take a look at this final example. Because I'm intro 2 and all the templates are totally customizable, there's no limit to what you can make with this. Again, my name is Stanislav for Motion VFX. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.